Welcome to Taiji's Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make coffee jelly. So you may wonder, coffee jelly, what is that? Or is that Japanese at all? I myself didn't think this was Japanese, but I got a request from someone in the comments and also the student of mine in my school where I work asked me to make a video on this. Supposedly he has seen some anime and wanted to know what it tastes like. So I decided to make a video on this. When you go to Japan, you would find pretty much in any supermarket, even the konbini, they would have coffee jelly uh, everywhere pretty much. Most people think Japanese people are not creative. I don't think that is true. Yes, most Japanese people people are very conservative, we don't like new things, but in the field of food, we are very creative, we are very innovative, we like to mix up things, we like to try new things, we like to incorporate a lot of things in Japanese food. So this is also another creation of Japan, combining Western things together and just kind of made it our own. So if you wonder how it tastes like, it's very easy, hope you give it a try. Then let's get started. Here are the ingredients for a coffee jelly. Here I have just regular coffee beans. Any kind of coffee bean will do whatever you like. And just some sugar and also gelatin to make the jelly. And if you want to be strictly vegan, you can also use argar instead of gelatin. And at the end, I'm going to put some cream or you can also use some whipped cream. Today I'm going to be lazy about it and just use a canned whipped cream. Of course, if you make your own whipped cream, that'll taste much better. And then I'm going to use some regular coffee machine. If you want to be fancy about it, then you can of course make your own drip coffee. That'll taste much better. Then let's start cooking. So let's first make the coffee. Today I want to make about two cups worth of coffee. So in this I'm going to put in about two and a half cups of water. And a half. For two cups of water I'm going to put in four tablespoons of coffee beans. Depending on whatever coffee beans you're using or if you have your own measurement then follow that. I don't really know too well about coffee so it's just my recipe. and then turn on the coffee machine and wait. So the coffee has been made, I'm gonna turn off the coffee machine and this looks great. Now I'm gonna measure about two cups of coffee. Oh, perfect. Okay. And this I'm going to put in the gelatin. So we have two cups of water, which is 500 milliliter. And for that, you want to use 10 gram of gelatin. If you're using gelatin, you want to be pretty exact how much you want. Otherwise, it won't be stiff enough. So this is a 20 gram package and contains 12 leaves. So I'm going to put half of this. Four, five, six. So I'm just going to put this right in here like this and because the coffee is already warm so it's just gonna get resolved on its own and in this I'm gonna put two tablespoons of sugar if you want to enjoy the bitterness of the coffee and want to make less sweet then you can of course use less or if you want to make it sweeter then you can of course put more sugar so you want to keep stirring like this until the gelatin part gets dissolved all the way which is probably gonna take about a minute or two So as you see, there's no gelatin left. I'm gonna put this in some cups. So this is actually finished, but I wanna kinda of get rid of these bubbles. It's inevitable that these bubbles form up. What you can do is you can poke these with just regular toothpick. There's another easy way, and that is using a lighter. Uh, usually lighter have this kind of switch where you can make the flame bigger. So you want to use a, like a bigger flame like this and then what you want to do is make a flame on the bubbles and then the bubbles just kind of pop and goes away due to the heat. Be careful you don't burn your finger in the process. So these look just perfect. I'm gonna let this rest in the room temperature for about half an hour until it's cool enough to put it in the fridge. And then I'm gonna put these in the fridge and then I'll let it rest for four to five hours until the jelly will be firm. So it's been about five hours since I put these in the fridge and the coffee jelly has firmed up and looks perfect. No bubbles, just perfect. And today I'm gonna eat one with a regular cream and the other with whipped cream. So you can put how much ever you want. Just like that much, probably like a tablespoon or so. 
and the other one just coat it out with a whipped cream. Just like that. And then just put some mint so that it looks nice. And I also have some blueberries, so I'm gonna top it with blueberries as well. And these are finished, let's eat. Oh, this looks great. Let's eat. Itadakimasu. So let's start with the one with cream. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Oh. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, this is very soothing. So I'm not a big coffee drinker, but this I really like. So even though the ingredients are just the same as just regular coffee with milk, it's just kind of adding another layer. And mm, this is just really refreshing. Mm. Then let's eat the one with the whipped cream. So a little bit of whipped cream and a little bit of the jelly. Like us. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. So this is kind of like wiener coffee, where you put whipped cream over coffee, but it's cold and it's kind of like eating coffee ice cream. Mm. But has got this jelly texture to it. Mm, really nice. And also try with a blueberry. I actually never tried this, but... Mm. It's actually good. A little bitterness of the coffee and whipped cream. And the sourness of the blueberry. Not bad. You can also top it with other berries like like raspberry or strawberry. Mmm. 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 Very good. So let me get a little more of the whipped cream. Let's go back to the cream. Mmm. Really delicious. So the main difference with these two is that this has just cream and doesn't have sugar in the cream so it's got a little more freshness to it. You can enjoy more of the bitterness of the coffee. Uh, really nice, refreshing. And here because the whipped cream has sugar in them, it has more of the feel of dessert. So however you want, it's up to you. Like mm. Mm, Ah, oh, that was delicious. Oh, that was really good. So as you saw from the length of the video, this is really easy to make. So I hope you give this a try. And I also hope that this gave you a new perspective on Japanese food, Japanese cuisine. All the ingredients in here is Western, but, and you combine them, you get some Japanese food. So I really want to say thank you to the person who requested this because I alone couldn't have thought of this idea myself. So if you have any other requests, please feel free to write anything in the comments below and I'll try to make those in my channel. And if you like what you saw, please hit that like button and I'll be so, so grateful if you could support me and share my channel and my videos with your friends and families. Otherwise, I look forward to see you in the next video. Bye.